गुड मॉर्निंग ग्रेट थ्री एंड वेलकम टू आई क्लेश क्लास वेल चिल्ड्रन वी आर डूइंग यूनिट टू एरिक द वाई के नाउ चिल्ड्रन एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज अ फिक्शन वॉट इज अ फिक्शन चिल्ड्रन द राइटर्स इमेजिनेशन समथिंग विच इज नॉट रियल एंड नॉट थ्रू राइट एंड दिस इज अ it is taken from a saga this is an extract extract means a few passage from a long text saga is a long story now children what was the first half of the story the first half of the story was about eric the viking and what was he determined determined to do he was determined to find the land where the sun goes at night what is the children of what is the meaning children of uh, determined think can you frame a sentence determined is to make a firm decision like uh, you can say i am determined to get good marks in english or let's take children the current situation scientists are determined to find to develop a vaccine for the covid right so the first half is where eric is determined to find the land where the sun goes at night and the second half was what children the second half was about his journey where he began his journey now what do you think about the journey was it an easy journey children no it was not why how do we know it was not an easy journey can you see the description over here right and this page ends with what is it saying over here as the skies got darker and the sea grew rougher so it's talking of a difficult journey the sea is rough when the sea is rough children is it easy to sail is it easy to sail when the sea is rough what do you think let's see but they rowed with all their might and main what's this children with all their might and main can you see this is in highlight with all their might and main means children that using all their strength why as we seen the sea is rough can you see it's a rough sea so it's difficult to sail when the sea is rough and as the lightning forked across the heavens and the thunder rolled all around them they got closer and closer to land now children see here lightning now you mark there seven i think the sixth word was horizon so number seven will be lightning now what's the meaning of this children forked across the heaven now all of us use fork correct it is have you we all have seen fork have you seen those rows children there there is space in between the fork right so they are like rows like lines 3 4 so same way children if you observe the lightning in the sky you will see them as lines straight crooked lines and gap or space between them and across the heavens means children here it is the sky right and the thunder rolled all around them that means there's a loud noise of thunder all around everywhere rocks to port cried the lookout and golden dragon swung around to starboard now children see this word port and starboard it is in bold can you see it's in dark black now if you see your glossary here on page 14 you can see the meaning of port port is the left side of a ship when facing forward and starboard is the right side of a ship when facing
forward. Port is also children where ships are there, but here in this lesson it says the port is the left side, right? And starboard is the right side part of the ship. So basically, children, it is telling us that how the ship is moving left and right and how it is difficult to sail through this rough weather. Now, children, look out, uh, just see this over here, children, cried the lookout. First, children, you mark cried as number eight. Now, some of you will think ma'am is giving such an easy word cried. The reason children why I am giving you cried is because many of you make mistakes in this IE word. Now your children look out. The meaning of look out is what? When I am searching something. Okay. Look out is when I am uh, like I am alert and I am searching and want to find something. But over your children look out is it is a person. You know in olden days children, uh, we, there were forts, even now we have forts where the king lived. So the lookout's job, there was no drone or there was no technology, there was no camera those days. So the lookout's person, he was a person, okay. So his job was to look out for some danger, to be vigilant and then he had to alert others. To keep the palace or the fort safe. So then the soldiers would prepare themselves. He had to look out for some enemies or some danger to the palace or to the fort. That's the meaning over here. Now we move to the next line. Rocks to starboard cried the lookout. And golden dragon swung back. To port again. Okay, so this they are describing how the journey is, how they are finding it difficult to move this ship, this boat. Now, children swung, you put their number nine, right? Swung back to port again. Swung is children, it is the past tense, okay? The past participle of swing. Here it mo means moving front, back, sideways. Can you see? Because of the rough weather. Look out ahead, cried Eric. And the golden monster on the helm scraped against the rocks as the sea dragged them down and then threw them up again. So now Eric is shouting, look out ahead, that means there is some danger. The golden monster, children, what is a monster? It is some horror figure, okay, some cruel, it is like, it is a fictional, frightening uh, creature, an imaginary the writers, it is a writer's imagination. As you have seen in Harry Potter. Right? At the helm. Children, what is a helm? If you see here, it is there in the glossary. Where the ship is steered from. So, it is the wheel for stirring a ship or a... Stirring the ship over here to move the ship. Okay, scraped against the rock. What is the meaning of this children? Scraped against? Scraped against means uh, to rub against a hard surface and it makes a harsh sound. Now over here it is touching the rock. Okay, so now here there could be a damage. The rocks are rough and sharp. The surface could be damaged. So, scrape is rub against a surface making a hard, making a harsh sound. As the sea dragged them down and then threw them up again. So, that means children the weather is very very violent. The sea is violent. It's very stormy, rough weather. 
we have had it now cried eric's men one to the other and they shut their eyes children see here we have had it now we have had it now is a phrase what does it mean by this it means that nothing can save our lives and see your children and they shut their eyes children imagine yourself sitting on going to imagica and sitting on that high roller coaster and it's moving up and down what happens okay when you are at a height then you close your eyes this is human nature whenever there is something frightening or something we just shut our eyes keep rowing cried eric and he and he stirred the ship between the rocks and the boiling sea until all at once they found themselves in a deep what is this children fjord fjord children is uh if the word is given here if you see it is a sheltered section of the sea between high rocks i'll show you the picture children of this uh you know you have a, it is like a long narrow it is long and narrow deep inlet of the sea it is between like the rocks like a shelter okay so this is a that's called a fjord so what did he do he steered the ship between the rocks and the boiling sea children boiling sea what is the meaning of boiling sea why why are they using this term boiling sea boiling means angry violent now here the ship is very very violent it's very very rough okay so it is difficult to move to move the ship during this rough weather so the meaning of steer is to guide and to control the movement of the ship here it is a ship it could even be any other vehicle or an aircraft but here we are seeing the stories about this ship one by one eric's men opened their eyes so now slowly they are opening their eyes the rain still poured down on them and the lightning lit up the wild rocks above them but the water was calm and they were safe so now what is happening children see the rain still poured that means it is still raining and there is still lightning but the water is calm that means the water now the boat is steady the ship is steady they are feeling safe why because they are between this wild rock as i told you a fjord they have come to this safe place fjord is nothing but it is a long deep inlet of the sea so with that children we come to the end of this lesson enjoy okay children you know this uh, story is taken from this no the saga of eric the viking by terry jones now if you wish it is not there is no compulsion it is not compulsory children but you know you can order this book online you can order this book or if you are going to any book store if you happen to go to any book store you can always buy this book because last year also children some of uh my children from the last year batch they bought books because if you see this book our english book there are many lessons units which are taken from extracts okay there are many 
lessons which are taken from extracts so if you wish if you want to know more about the story then you can order or you can buy these books whenever you go to a bookshop or you can order it online i repeat it is not compulsory okay now don't worry your parents and say i want this book i want this book it is good to have a collection of books so last year when my children had the had books we used to read it in the class in zero period and we enjoyed the story so you can get the full story of this lesson eric the viking right so when children for homework you are going to write the new words we have written up to 5 so we will continue with another file so you get 10 keywords or new words i think children the 10th word we have not marked right let's take steer as the 10th word i will even put it in the broadcast now children for homework you are going to write the new words and there is a question this will be on new words children the spelling of eric is wrong there is no c okay so this will be your new words and children see this question why you would or would not like to read the rest of the story as we know children this is a saga a long story so now here this is your personal opinion think and write write at least 5 to 6 lines why you would okay if you would to uh if you want to read the story further so you would like so write there that you would like to read it further and then you write the reason why you would like to read it further and would not mean suppose you don't want to read the story further you would not like to read it further so then you write i would not like to read it further but give me your reasons if you would like to read it further or you would not like to read the rest of the story right the whole story so this is your personal opinion and this is your new words now children this is uh you can even see it at home in your mobiles this is uh can you see this children this is a fjord can you see a sheltered section of the sea between high rocks it's like a long strip of sea can you see this between these cliffs or these rocks like an inland water so here the ship came the ship sailed and it was somewhere over here that golden dragon where they felt it safe okay so that's the meaning of fjord now with that children we come to an end with this to with this lesson unit 2 please complete your homeworks and see you